Good evening. So, I'm going to start out by reading Proverbs 9, 13 through 18. And that part of that chapter is titled, The Way of Folly. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knows nothing, for she sits at the door of her house on a seat by the highest places of the city, to call to those who pass by, who go straight on their way, whoever is simple, let him turn in here. And as for him who lacks understanding, she says to him, stolen water is sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he does not know that the dead are there, that her guests are in the depths of hell. The power of foolishness is presented in the form of a seductress. She may be clever, acquainted with the ways of the world, and crafty, but yet she is blind to spiritual realities. Her brazen ways and exciting talk may be persuasive, but persuasion does not equal permission in the Lord's eyes. The fact that the woman admitted her pleasures were wrong should be the Christian signal to flee no matter how tantalizing they may seem to the flesh. So, a little background on why I'm speaking of this tonight. For the past two years where I was working, I've been done wrong. I have been done wrong. And I have held on to my virtue. I've endured all kinds of nonsense. I've gone through bullying. But I went to HR with, and they did nothing. I even went to my director and she did nothing and in the end she ended up being the bully yes I lost my call with her yesterday I am a Christian and I do for the most part display the fruits of the Spirit I'm normally never a person to raise my voice like that, especially to a person that's in authoritative areas. And I've got lots of people that can testify to that part of my character. I'm not a vicious person. I'm not a hothead. But I'm not going to sit there and allow somebody to yell in my face and not yell back, especially when she knows where my mental health is. This woman has known me for years. And she knows what I'm going through right now. And for her to treat me like she's been treating me. And me staying in prayer and constant communication with my Abba. He's the only thing that got me through. That got me through that working there. When it comes to the point where you don't sleep. And I really hadn't slept for like three or four months, really. Because of the crap that I had to go through up there. Or had to go through up there.
and to have so many people in that kitchen telling me in text messages when I apologized because she had me convinced, literally, that I was the problem. I was the problem. And that I was causing conflict all through the kitchen. But when I sent out apologies to people, they clearly told me that I'm not the problem. That she's the toxic one. And now... She's blackballing me, telling people that I'm apparently a very violent person, which anyone that knows me knows I am far from that. And this hurts me. But I know God's got me because I've done nothing but remained upright in his presence. And I've endured so much abuse from that place. I've endured it all. And most days, I went on with a smile on my face. And then by the time I got home from work, I was crying. For two years, I have come home and cried almost every single day. And you shouldn't do that. I loved my job. I did. I loved most of the people that I worked with. I loved dealing with the patients. I loved dealing with the nurses and the doctors. I did. And this is just my season. This is my season right now. And I sent said person a text and let them know there were two people I sent a text to because one of them, one of them fell right in suit, which really doesn't surprise me. But you know, a few months back I had a prophetic dream about snakes and hyenas. Well, yesterday, after all of that went down, God revealed to me that my former boss was the viper. She was the viper that was striking at me, trying to injure me. And there was not three hyenas, there was two hyenas. And they were the two people that she moved on up. And they were trying to tear me apart. And then a couple of nights before all of this went down, I had another prophetic dream that I was sitting there and I was loving on a very um, loving animal, a very, very kind, loving animal, a gentle animal. And then all of a sudden, I heard a growl when I went to give it a hug. And when I looked up, it was transforming into a wolf. And then God today, this evening, showed me 
who that was. So now I have got them completely blocked, deleted, whatever. But I didn't do it before. I sent them a text message that told them, basically in essence, that I forgive you. And I'm going to pray blessings over you. And I'm going to pray that you can walk in peace. And I'm also going to pray that people will extend to you the kind of grace that you did not extend to me. Because everybody deserves to have that grace. I may be hurting right now. But you know what? I've still got the joy of the Lord. I've still got the joy of the Lord in my heart. And that is joy that exceeds all, all understanding. And I know it's going to be okay. God's got me. God has got me. Because I've done nothing wrong in this scenario. I've not done not one thing wrong. But now I am understanding why. When I would scroll, when I would put my daily scriptures up in the office, and this person would walk through the office, now I can understand why. She would get so upset with me. She would get so upset with me. And I do honestly feel that there are demonic spirits attached to her. And I'm going to pray those off too. Because everybody deserves to live a life without a demonic spirit attached to their soul. To their spirit. I'm a simple person. I am. I don't sit down and draw up blueprints for people. For me to get even with people. Because vengeance is not mine. It's God's. And as long as I continue to walk upright in His peace and in His love and in His joy and in His kindness, in His grace, in His mercy, He's going to have His vengeance. And they're going to have to answer because I'm sounding the cry right now, right now. And I'm taking back everything that the enemy has stolen from me. I'm taking it all back. I'm not giving them power. I'm hitting my knees. And I'm going to stay in constant prayer. Because the Lord's word does not return to him void. He has said in his word, he's got me. He's got me. And I know he does. 
and I just gotta trust him. And I do. I trust him so much. Lord Jesus, I just come to you tonight, Lord. I lift these these people up to you tonight, Lord. Lord, you know their names. I'm not going to say their names. There's no point in that. Because, Lord, you already know their names. Lord, you know that they both say they're Christian. But their fruits are not showing. Their fruits are not showing. Lord, your word says that for someone to slander someone's name, their character, their livelihood, that it makes them a fool. But that you walk with and you guard the ones that walk upright in your sight. God, I love you so much and I trust you with everything, Lord. Lord, you know what I've been through up there. <sighs> Lord, tonight, Lord, I just, I pray blessings on them. I pray so many blessings on them. I pray peace for them, Lord. I pray light for them, Lord. I pray love for them, Lord. I pray grace and mercy for them, Lord. And Lord, I pray forgiveness for them as well, Father. I'm not seeking the vengeance, Lord. I'm leaving that to you, Father. This, Lord, I know you will avenge the people that walk up right in your sight. Father, when I would go to work, I would work as if I were working for you. Everything I did at work was honorable. I did it with honor. Father God, Lord, you know that I've even prayed with patience, Lord, and their families, Father, you know that I've done that, Lord. Oh, Lord, I thank you for the ones that I met at work that are good people, Father, people that love me and that still love me and that I love them, Father. Oh, Lord, please take care of them. Please watch over them, Father, and love them. And when the days get hard, then, Lord, help them to extend grace to others. So much, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, right now, I'm demanding any demonic spirit that's attached to those people. I'm demanding in the name of Jesus that that demonic spirit release itself right now and that it disappears. Put it under bondage, Father. Put it under bondage, Father. Under bondage, Lord. And cast it back into the depths of hell where it goes, Father. Thank you, Yasha. Oh, thank you, Yasha. <laughs> yes, thank you, Yasha. Yes. Yes, Jesus, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Oh, and I say all of these things through the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I just wanted to get on here and bring that little quick message. It's not good to slander anyone not good thank you all for listening I hope you have a blessed night and remember God loves you bye